Hello friends, welcome to our channel and in this video we will discuss about payroll in Excel or how to create a payroll in Excel. We have two different sections in which first section we have the data available and in the data we have the employee name, pay per hour, total number of hours work and overtime number of hours and the pay as per the hours and the second section in which we need to find out the details includes cross pay income tax other deductions if any and the last one is net pay now to find the details first we go on cross pay and in the cross pay we need simple formula equals to bracket open in the bracket select the pay per hour multiply by total number of hours worked bracket close plus sign again bracket open now for the overtime select the overtime hours multiply by total pay as per overtime close the bracket and enter this is how we got the cross pay now we only need to drag it down to apply the same formula this is how we have completed the cross pay in the second column we need to find the income tax so simply equals to select the cross pay multiply by the percentage so we have the 5% so write 0 0.005 and we got the income tax now we only need to drag it down so it will work on the remaining cells as well now to find the deductions first we need to write the deductions so i can put the data manually or you can put as per your own desire or as per your organization policy so i write here the other deductions i have used the random details regardless or irrespect of the employment and for the last net pay what we have to do we have to simply use the equals to and after selecting we select the cross pay minus income tax cell which is 250 again minus and other reduction cell now press enter and select the cell and drag it down to apply the same formula below you can also make it presentable by selecting the column and go here in the poll to make it bold and now we can test our formula by changing the pay per hour so i write here 50 so you can see the difference as well this is how we have completed the example we can also add the currency symbol to make it more presentable go here in the format cell in the format you can see here in the left column which is the currency select the currency and here the sample is reflecting we only need to press here ok this is how we have completed the example if you face any confusion please write in our comment section